Good morning. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to make a vlog for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose. And since we're doing Vlogmas, I thought I would do at least one video that is actually a vlog. <laughs> so this is it. Let's check out how my days look and what I'm up to. Of course, of first I open all the curtains. Tell good morning to the plants. This is Philip Estralizzi. Good morning. It's way too cold for him here, but okay. This window has some hanging plants in it, which might get way too cold. So I always check up on them, especially this Hoya I'm a little bit worried about, Mini Bell, that did very well for me in the summer. But I feel like now it's, I need to move it. So I might do that today. The Dishidias, I'm not sure about, they might be okay. And yes, our windows suck, <laughs> need to be replaced. Then I always like to peek into the tent, check out the temperature. You can't see this with my camera, so we'll open it up fully. Ah, sunlight. So it's about 19 degrees right now and very humid. That's good. That is also because at night all of this switches off the fan and the lights. So it's starting to warm up again now. I check if there's any fun growth. You can actually see this Hoya Meliflua that is starting to open the leaves. So that's fun to see. And this one I always check on. This is Hoya Rosita. It gets way too dry very quickly. So I have to make sure it's okay. Beautiful sun stress though. Some of my propagations from my melano. I always like to look at the little growth points of the monsteras. <laughs> it just started to rain on my head because I was touching the top. Uh, it's all wet. <laughs> Shit, life with a tent. Here's another new Hoya leaf. That's nice because this one hasn't grown in a while. Yay. The main Melanochrysum. I hope that's growing. I can't see anything yet. And I also put my big Monstera propagation in here because that was not doing well. And I'm hoping that the tent will help it to be a little bit happier. But yeah, everything's looking good. So then we head downstairs. Hey, Mickey. Good morning. What is that about? Do you not want to be petted in the morning? Come on, buddy. Nope, nothing. What if I feed him? Yep. <laughs> hey, Max. Not so easy with one hand. Uh, good morning, Maxer. Yes. Good girl. Now, what's wrong with you, Mickey? You're the hungry one during the day. What do you want? You wanna play on the new sofa? We got this for a special project, but Mickey is in love with this sofa. You wanna play? Hey, my puppy chair. And by the way, it's not a new sofa, so it's okay that it gets some <laughs> cat nails in it. Let's open the windows in the living room. These are always a little bit difficult to open because there's so many plants in the way. So my boyfriend leaves them for me to do. <laughs> Good morning, Vicky. How are you in the cold? Ooh, starting to open a new leaf. These are the two top cuttings of my big plant. Nice. She's growing again. And the main stem is also opening a leaf. The second light. 
needs to be switched on by hand, which is annoying, but okay. For my Hoyas, I will do it. They get a nice pink splash. Do you see that? That's the grow lights working. Oh, and my, oh, look, my Hoya is finally starting to turn red here. It was sitting in the sunlight all summer and it didn't turn red. And now the grow light is making it red. Yay! This one, the mother plant, is like fully red. It's insane. It's very, very beautiful. So this I hadn't seen yet, and that's very exciting. I'm so happy I moved them for winter. <laughs> Here are some of my other favorite Hoyas. Opening some new leaves now. That's nice, because they haven't done much in a while. Here's another big Hoya that was sitting in my windowsill, but I moved here for light issues. And this little terrarium thing I got for Sinterklaas. And there's currently a very sad plant, a very sad ghost in there and some propagations. But I'm thinking of planting that up with something fun in the future. It's now five days later and with the help of my new glue gun, I actually made this front for it. You can see the reflection of me, sorry about that. But I just glued some different shells on top of each other as a little protection to not see the bottom of the terrarium. And then I potted my selaginella in there and a crocodile fern. And I think it looks really cool. The front looks so pretty. Oh, and before I forget, of course, we put the Christmas lights on because I just love the vibe that gives to the living room. Do you have Christmas lights in your house like this? I also like to check on the terrarium. As you can see here, it is 23 degrees right now and 60% humidity, which is not normal. So probably the donut died again. Sorry for the flickering that happens with these lights, unfortunately. Maybe replace it. And in the meantime, I'll spray in here a little bit so that they get a little bit more wet. If you wanna see all the new growth I've got going on on the Hoyas, I'll make a video about this later today actually, so I can't show you everything because that video will be separate from this one. But it's definitely going quite well. <laughs> oh, the most beautiful leaf in the world. And then we check my planner. So you can see here at 11, I've got an appointment that is coming here for my re recovery for my brain. I actually wanted to get up a little bit earlier than I did, but my phone was off, so my alarm did go off. Luckily, that's not super bad when you work at home and your boyfriend is here to wake you up at a reasonable time anyway. But I don't have time this morning to do yoga because we have a guy coming over to check on our heating situation. He's gonna hopefully temporarily fix the geyser so we have hot water again. Yesterday, I showered and washed my hair at the gym where I teach yoga. That's not ideal, of course. Max. Hey, Maxer. Hey, are you sitting next to Tasty? Was there a Thai constellation? You're so beautiful, my little girl. Look at her. Oh, she is the most beautiful cat in the world and you cannot tell me otherwise. Well, you can try and tell me, but I won't believe you. Actually, fun update. This is my Monstera variegata, and it is finally attaching to the pole, as you can see here, which is awesome. And also, it's finally growing another leaf since I repotted it into this upright situation with the moss pole. So I'm really excited to see what this will look like. It looks like it has secondary fenestration, so that's amazing. Might have to add some more moss to this thing. He's here, he's fixing. And I made him coffee, but I have no idea how, so hopefully it tastes okay. <laughs> the fixer guy just left. He temporarily fixed it until we get the whole new system, but he doesn't currently have time to install that. So now at least we will be able to shower at home again, which is quite nice. 
And now I'm waiting for my appointment for ergo therapy. I don't know if that's the right translation. I just heard that the street is closed down at the start of the street and it's a one-way street. So she might have to walk a little bit or find a way around. So I hope she finds it. <laughs> and then we'll talk about how I can plan better so I'm less tired. The ergo therapist just left and I'm feeling really, really shaky right now after talking to that plumber guy all morning and then to her for an hour. You can even see it in the camera. My hands are shaking. So I'm gonna take a rest. I think I'm gonna just do a nap on our new sofa in the middle of the room. Hopefully Mickey will come join me and we'll regain some energy. Welcome in the life of living with post-concussion syndrome. It's not fun, but we'll get there. Mickey! <sighs> Mickey! Hey! <sighs> and it's about midday right now. I had to turn myself the other way around because the light from outside was really bright. That's another thing, bright light does not feel nice for my head. I'm feeling really, really cold, which also happens when I'm overused or overtired. My body seems to pull back all the like necessary functions of warming up my fingers and everything. Plus I can't really sleep, but I just realized one of my best friends, Neve, from university actually sent me this parcel a while back with space masks which apparently warm up and you can put over your eyes as you rest so i'm just gonna try one by the way this is not sponsored at all she paid for them and she sent them to me drift off as you enjoy 15 minutes of otherworldly warmth <laughs> sounds awesome let's try it how do you open something with one hand vloggers teach me how to do it okay how about this huh uh -huh. uh. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Like this, I guess. Loop around ears. Bye. Ah, that was so nice. It's been about 23 minutes and this thing is still really nice and warm. My eyes are even a little bit um, sweaty from like condensy. <laughs> but I woke up because Maggie keeps uh, meowing. I think she's hungry and she wants some food, so I guess it's time to get up. As I was in the kitchen making some lunch, I noticed that this guy probably wanted some water. I haven't watered this in ages, so I gave it that. And I'm also going to water my Epipernum Neon. Just always doing 20 things at the same time, which is not very effective, but that's how my brain works. Welcome to ADHD. Definitely looking a lot nicer since I moved it here. Look at that big leaf. This is my hand. Getting nice light from the top and it's making a few new growths. One there, one there. Whoops. And a peppernum. It's also doing fine. I mean, can't really go wrong with this one, I think. I recently propagated it, so it's interesting to see if something happens there. Oh, here it is. I don't see any new growth yet. But I mean, it is winter, so here's another one that I propagated for my family. Now time for some food. I just finished filming a terrarium tour. Time for some Maggie cuddles. So sweet. And I guess that's the end of this vlog. The rest of my day is basically spent editing videos and sending emails and it's pretty boring to watch. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's very different from what I normally do. So please let me know in the comments what you think and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much to my patrons and my YouTube members. I love you guys so much. It's so much fun chatting with you in the Discord and on the Zoom call every month. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoy this Vlogmas kind of weird, different videos style. So I hope so. Bye.
Say bye, Maggie. Bye, YouTube. Look at those teeth. <laughs>